Hi everyone, uh, I hope to make this a short video. This kind of gives you just a, a little idea um, of how I got started with orchids. Uh, and I actually started with this little guy and I will move this little cutting of orchids. Um, just kind of want to give you um, an idea what this, this is the first orchid that got me started. It was from a friend of mine. I was gifted to her and after it bloomed it pretty much wasn't doing anything for her so she ended up giving it to me because I have some uh, office plants that were really doing really well so she thought I could uh, help her well. I was actually killing it slowly from uh, so I had her for a year in the office and um, was not blooming. She kind of looked like this but without all the um, the yellow um, in the you know, lip area there um, but she was all pure white bigger definitely much much bigger than this maybe twice as big as the flowers no scent but she was definitely um, she was beautiful so um, she gave it to me after a year nothing happened and I got to thinking it's got to be something on the internet so I googled and I found Brad's greenhouse as well as Miss Orchid Girl. So uh, I took her home and found out that I was drowning her in waters and she was in sphagnum moss. So I cut off everything that were dead and pretty much all was dead. This was in February. Of the I tried many ways to, um, you know, help her and she just wasn't growing I had her in sphagnum moss completely away I, I didn't do the uh, spagging bag I think that's the only thing that I didn't try but um, last month early last month I saw a video of somebody doing a water culture growing um, experiment and then I did some more and I, and I found Samantha's Orchid and Dog Diary. I figured, oh, let me give this, <clears throat> excuse me, allergy is killing me. So I thought I'd give it a try. She's been in this for maybe a week and a half. She has um, shown some growth, but I think she's not going to make it because there's some crown rot that I'm seeing and I really can't, I don't know what else to do. Um, but I think I will lose her, um, but I will keep her in here for as long as I can and do as much as I could for her. Cause she's, you know, again, she's the one that got me started with the orchid, uh, growing and in interest. She has one little, one, and she's always, um, as you can see, her <clears throat> growth pattern has really diminished. This is one one and then it got smaller and then that's definitely smaller uh, she's got one guy this one just grew about a week and a half ago which I do believe that um, water culture does work uh, but I think um, I've you know I got her at the wrong time in terms of growing her in the water because she does here's the crown rod right there and I'm really really so sad for her because she's been God she's been she's been a fighter so there's one right there and I think there's another one right there so but <clears throat> excuse me again <laughs> sorry allergy but she's got that one that's again about a week ago and a week and a half ago and that just and this one is starting to rot too but they both came at the same time we'll try something else um, but we'll see again I'm gonna try because the water culture seems to be working for her but I need to help her in terms of the fungus that seems to be growing there and I probably won't be able to but you know what I gotta give it a try these two were in the same pot and they came from an attorney at work with this one sure why not These are all new. Uh, I got her in March. That is also new from her. As you can see, um, 
these were the leaf that she had when I when I got her. She had some ones here too, but they kind of died off. This is the one that she's given me since I've had her. And this is the brand new one. Um, but she does have a lot of nice well, that's green right there. She has nice uh, she's been really good one in there. I don't know if you can see right there. So she's doing really well and I'm really happy for her and um, and this was in there as well. Like I said two of them the twinsies um, and you know like I said this See how they, these were the ones that came. And I think this one. I can't remember. Maybe this one. I can't remember. But she had three leaves. Three leaves. When I got her. So, must have been, yeah, must have been these. these. So this one was. And this is uh, another one that she's wearing. But um, she's been a lot of stress as well. Uh, but she's got a lot of woo, roots right there, right there. She's got some in here somewhere. I know that I. And then, of course, these ones are quite new, too. Um, there's one right there. Side there, there's also ones that are kind of digging in. But um, she's also doing well. I mean, I expect I expected the stress. And I just want to make sure, I'm just happy that they do have roots growing. So they're happy. To me, that tells me we're happy. And I say, A-okay. Mommy. Mommy Orchid. And Mommy Orchid is in here. And I got her before I got the ones from the, uh, from the office. Um, anyway. This is Mama. This is the Mama one. And Mama isn't doing so well. This is uh, her. And they're really <laughs> papery. Mm, poor baby. But she's got roots. I mean, look at look at these. She's doing really well. And um, these aren't doing so well right there. There's one in here. And I don't know if you can see it right there. And I don't know if that's from her baby, which is, this is her baby. Cakey, they were they were like attached to her. Um, and I can't even remember where they were attached to her. Maybe somewhere. Okay, because I can't see where I cut them off. Maybe here. I can't remember. Um, anyway, and that's and I know she's stressed because I did take her babies away from her. She had two babies and I took it away. So this is one baby and he she is doing quite well as you can see this was the one that she had she had two leaves this one I don't know if you can see there. oops let me get it so this is ugh, it's probably gonna knock me out here so this is one and this is the other these are the one that she has gifted me and as you can see um there are kind of bigger than the uh, you know one after the other but i haven't seen any new growth but as you can see, she's got, look at that, look at that, look at her, look at that. And she's got, let me hold on, right there. Again, I don't know, if, there's one right here and there's one right there. I don't know if the, uh, those are from her or from Mama, but, but Mama has some, brown roots right there but it still looks plumpy so I'm not going to get rid of her but this is I don't know if you can see this is actually roots right here where my putting my finger around and it's I think that was a dead this is the other cakey this is the other orphan that I cut off of mama but this was the leaf um, she had and also this one and then she gave me this one and then this one she can see the latest one is like woot woot I'm big root system is also out the park people out of the park look at these you see this look at it blah 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 right there too 
this one's right about there and look at this one look how she's just like I'm going out too I want to see what's out there so she just squeezed herself between look how I just know why I can replant her now. I mean, I, I would have to, you know, two years from now, give her a little more time. And this is another one that's growing. And she's just like digging in there. And then she's got a new one right there, too. So she's really happy. And if she does decide to flower, um, give me a bloom next year, I will return it back to the original owner and let her enjoy the bloom and then uh, I would request her to give it back to me once uh, the blooms is all spent so that I can take care of her and continue to give it back to her once she does bloom so anyway I hope you enjoy this video and I hope that um, this gives you hope for those that are starting out um, so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this again uh, let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate your time. And if you have any suggestions, uh, have a good one. And I will see you soon. Bye.